What's up, BTY Nation? Coach Bobby back here again, talking to you now about dreaming, right? And about chasing and, and, and going after what you really want in life. And when we were small, right? When we were babies and adolescents and teenagers even, we had this idea of what we wanted out of life, right? Of what we knew we could be. When you're a baby, uh, after you learn about the physics of the world, about the, uh, the, the properties of life, right? How to walk, how to talk, how to listen, how to fall, all those things. Once you get past that, you begin to, to look into the world and the possibility of being great, right? A president, a teacher, an NFL football player, an NBA player, a princess, whatever it is, right? But slowly over time, life and our friends and our family and teachers and coaches begin to chip away at that dream of what we want to be, okay? So as we get older, right, as we get into our 20s and our 30s and our 40s, like where I'm at, we've lost much of that dream and we've kind of given in to what the world says we're allowed to have, right? The body we're allowed to have, the money we're allowed to have, the, the, the family life we're allowed to have, the love and relationships we're allowed to have, the house on the hill we're allowed to have, whatever it is, we, we have let life tell us what we're allowed to have. The problem is, part of us still knows and still wants that dream. It'd be easy, guys, it would be easy if we let go of the dream and just accept what happened. That would be easy. It would be easy if we never accepted to what life tells us we could have and only had the dream. The problem and the dichotomy and the struggle happens when we have both, right? When we've let life tell us that we can't talk well enough, that we don't look good enough, that we're too short, we're too tall, we're too fat, we're too poor, whatever it is. We've let life tell us we can't be whatever it is. We can't be skinny, we can't be rich, we can't be famous, we can't be successful, we can't be in a relationship, we can't be a good father, we can't be a good son, we can't be a good athlete, whatever it is. We've let life tell us that. The difference is, or the problem is, we still think we can on some days, in some months, in some moments. And that's where the struggle happens. And so I'm telling you, you still can. For the most part, most of our dreams and, and the things we want, we can have, right? It's a matter of, of, of letting that little flame that's inside of us still for a reason, letting that thing blossom, right? Nurturing that little flame and making it bigger again. Like it was when you were four years old. Like it was when you were eight years old. You can still be successful. You can still be a leader. You can still be, uh, have all the, the riches you want, have the body you want, have the confidence you want. You just have to let that part of you develop, right? And that comes from a few things. Number one, surround yourself with greatness. Right, surround yourself with people and, and things and visions that allow you to, to, to develop that flame that's inside of you and minimize the things that don't. Sure, we're gonna be inundated with, with television and messages and people in our lives that tell us we can't do something or can't be something. We have to guard against that, right? Whether it's through process, whether it's through strategy, whether it's through enrichment from people, we have to make sure that we create an environment for ourselves that allows us to tap into what we know is in there. Right, because again, if we didn't have uh, uh, the vision of being great, even a little bit, it wouldn't be a problem. If we accepted what life gave us, we would be happy, right? We don't accept it. You don't accept it. You don't accept being a size whatever it is, right? You wanna be skinny. You don't accept being paycheck to paycheck, right? That's for a reason, because you want more. So there's no reason for you to accept what life has given you when you have the ability, starting today, to be BTY, to be better than yesterday, and to begin this process of nurturing that flame, of feeding that flame inside of you that wants to be great again. So all you gotta do every day is do something to keep that flame going, to add a log to it, to, to fan it a little bit, to get that flame to build, build stronger and stronger every day, so that one day you go back to how you were in your 20s when you knew you could be great. You go back to where you were in your teens when you wanted to be great. You go back to where you were when you were a baby and knew you could be great. 
Go back to that, right? Let that baby in you, that, that child in you, that teenager in you come to the forefront and be who you know you can be.